G'day, it's Tony from GME. In this video, we're going to talk you through the ideal UHF CB communication setup if you're towing a caravan. UHF CB radios are a really important communication tool for you if you're towing a caravan around Australia. UHF CB radios enable you to feel safe and connected no matter where you are in the country, especially if you don't have mobile phone reception, and to stay in touch with other road users, particularly truck drivers. If you're towing a van like this one, this total setup's nearly 15 metres long. And if you need to overtake a truck, a UHF CB radio is the perfect way to make contact with that truck driver and he can help you out, letting you know when it's safe to overtake. Now, when you're travelling on the highways of Australia, there's a couple of key UHF CB channels that you should be aware of. Obviously, all of our radios have 80 UHF CB channels, but there's three that we'd like you to be aware of. Channel 11 is known as the call channel. So if you're looking to make contact with someone, you can reach out to them on channel 11 before switching to a working channel. Channel 18 is the caravan convoy channel. So if you're travelling with a group of friends, you can talk on channel 18 and you'll also be able to hear any communication from other caravanners in the area. And finally, and perhaps most importantly, channel 40 is the national highway channel and that's where you'll find most of the truck drivers. So in the situation I described, if you're looking to safely overtake a truck and you'd like to make contact with the driver before doing so, call out to them on channel 40 and they'll be able to tell you when it's safe to pass. Now when it comes to selecting a radio for your tow vehicle to tow your caravan, there are a number of different options. We would always recommend a fixed mount radio. They have five watt transmission power, so you'll get great range on the radio. They obviously run off the vehicle's power system, so you don't need to worry about keeping the battery charged, and you can run an external antenna, again, giving you the optimum performance. Now in a modern vehicle like this 200 series Land Cruiser, space in the cabin can be at a premium. So we've got radios like this, which is our XRS range. This is a hideaway radio, so the main radio is tucked up under the dash and all of the controls are on the handpiece. It makes it much easier to operate the radio with all the controls on the microphone and again, it means you don't need to find a spot on the dash to mount the main radio unit. Now, as I mentioned, one of the benefits of installing a fixed mount radio in your tow vehicle is that you can run an external antenna which will give you the optimum transmission distance. Now, there is a huge range of antennas in the GME antenna range and there's a number of things that you need to consider when you're selecting an antenna for your tow vehicle. Now you may be familiar with this style of antenna. This is a stainless steel whip with an elevated feed and these antennas are not designed for use on passenger vehicles. These antennas are designed for use on heavy vehicles mounted to the mirror arm because they're not designed to withstand the vibrations that a passenger vehicle can encounter on the road, particularly on dirt roads, and with a diesel vehicle, the harmonics of the engine can create a vibration that will break the whip. So, unless you're mounting your antenna on a heavy vehicle, this is not the ideal antenna for you. Now, another common style of antenna that you'll see on the road are these ones. Again, it's an elevated feed element, but instead of a stainless whip, these particular antennas have a fiberglass whip. They also have a spring base on them. So these antennas are much better at handling vibrations that you'll experience in a passenger vehicle, particularly those diesel four-wheel drives. Now, if you're spending the majority of the time towing a caravan on asphalt, on the highways, this could be the perfect solution for you. However, if you're spending time on dirt roads, particularly on those heavily corrugated roads that we experience in Outback Australia, these antennas are not designed to handle that kind of a harsh vibration, and they can fail in the fiberglass element if they experience too much of that abuse. Now, if you are going to be spending a lot of time towing on dirt roads, then we encourage you to consider one of our fiberglass radom style antennas, like this one. You'll notice that this one is much shorter than the elevated feed antennas that I was just showing you. That's because this one has 2.1 dBi gain as opposed to 6.6 .6 on the elevated feeds. But you will notice that the fiberglass construction of the radome antenna is much more robust. And again, the spring base is on there to deal with those vibrations that you experience in harsh outback conditions. If you do require additional transmission distance over the 2.1 dBi whip though, you can buy a 6.6 .6 whip, which is obviously much longer, still that robust construction, and that will simply screw on to the same antenna base that your 2.1 dBi whip screws onto. Now, of course, 
if your tow vehicle doubles as a daily driver and you spend a lot of time in the city, a 2.1 DBI whip might be a bit easier for you to deal with getting into car parks and the Macca's drive through And then when you go on an extended touring trip, you can screw on the 6.6 .6 DBI whip to give you that maximum transmission distance.